Hey, how's it going? In today's video, we're gonna take a look at the Jackson Audio Golden Boy Mini. Jackson Audio has teamed up with Joey Landreth once again uh, for a new version of his signature overdrive pedal, the Golden Boy. Um, we have now the Golden Boy Mini. While the Golden Boy also includes a boost and a few other clipping options, with the Golden Boy Mini, we have a much smaller form factor and there's no presets, there's no cycling through anything. It's kind of a grab and go utility overdrive. And what I found is not only the headroom sweep on the volume, but the amount of gain is such a real taper, kind of all the way down to all the way up. Um, you've got real changes happening. And so the tolerances, you know, on the components, but also how they've designed this is with everything at noon, that's not a clear representation of everything this pedal can do. There is such a wide sweep uh, among each control. And when you think about the Baxendall EQ circuit, it's got that really rich, sweet mid-range. And that's what this pedal, I think really where it shines is in that sweet mid-range sound. It's got plenty of transparency. It's not overly coloring your sound. Um, it's not a, you know, totally uh, see-through EQ by any means. It's still very much a mid-range overdrive pedal, uh, but it can cover so much ground. It can really give you real usable low end and the top end can really cut and push your amp, especially if it's on the verge of breakup, into breaking up and sweetening those highs. But that's enough talking, let's get into the demo. All right, so I've got my PRS. I'm going straight into the Golden Boy Mini, into the Eddie Wong Polaris. And what I thought we would start with is just listening to the extremes of each parameter on this pedal. So here's the clean tone on the neck pickup and humbucker mode, and then position two. So we're gonna cut it on, everything is at noon and we're in the asymmetrical clipping mode. So we've got some brilliance, uh, we've got a little loss in volume, uh, but let's boost the volume all the way and see what kind of just pure volume headroom we've got. <laughs> So we've got a decent boost there. Uh, we're gonna leave this at about two o'clock. Let's listen to the gain cut and then boosted. So we're gonna leave that at about uh, two o'clock. And we're gonna listen to the bass, middle, and treble. We're gonna cut all the way and boost all the way uh, with each one of those, starting with the bass. <laughs>
So at the end of there, I switched to the LED clipping mode. Uh, let's stay in LED now, and let's try to dial in, uh, referring back to the clean tone, just a real subtle, uh, maybe mid-boosty um, kind of overdrive sound. So where I would go here is maybe even back the gain off a little bit, and we're gonna leave the treble a little high uh, in the middle a little high, but we're gonna cut some bass. Uh, and let's see kind of where we are here. So here's a clean tone again. So we've cut a lot of bass there. Uh, let's, let's bring this back up and uh, we're gonna back the gain off a little bit. So we're getting a little more cut on the top end. We're losing a little muddiness in the bass uh, when we're engaging this pedal in this setting. I can also see this working in a cleaner setting. So I can see it rolling the, the guitar volume off. If we give it a little more bass and treble, and uh, we go to that neck humbucker. We're getting some good sustain, a lot of harmonic content coming out of there. That's a really great, uh, you know, mid, I would say, you know, even boosting the, the treble and bass, it still feels like there's a lot of bass being cut um, from the dry sound. And what that's gonna help you do is cut through the mix. Um, and so kind of losing some of those extreme edges and making it real high mid pointed uh, is such a useful tool. If we go to the asymmetrical setting um, for the clipping, I mean, it's gonna be a lot more open. You're gonna have a lot more brilliance. So I really like the sound of the roll off on that treble. I'm gonna roll off a little bit of middle. I'm going, I'm going to leave the bass boosting, the bass a, boosting bit. a little bit. We're going to leave the gain and volume the where they are. It's really, that asymmetrical setting opens up uh, the sound quite a bit. If we boost that gain up, this is kind of the EQ that I that I like for a higher gain sound. cuts, there's a lot of grit on top, but it's not super ice picky. Um, I might even 
make it smoother by uh, rolling off a little bit of that treble, boosting some of that mid again. <laughs> still get enough top end, but it's got such a smooth. The asymmetrical setting, I feel like, sounds like that amp. Um, and so, it's a lot more open. Uh, overall, I mean, I'm surprised by the amount of gain. Um, we can really dial in a pretty gained up sound. front of the amp quite hard and so it's I can feel the amp start to give a little bit with the pedal I mean that's that's a pretty raw uh, sound to be that gained up I really really love um, just this EQ, even things set mostly flat um, on a lower gain setting. Just compared to the uh, clean tone here. It definitely makes it a little smaller, a little more pointed, um, and what a great transparent sound. Overall, I can see this pedal ending up on a lot of people's boards. It's, it's got such a functional utility to it with the Baxendahl EQ. I just love the sound of that circuit. Um, and the amount of gain that you have on here, especially thinking about having it real open on the asymmetrical side and then pairing it with a compressor that's also clipping a little bit can give you some of that smooth, uh, more saturated drive sound and kind of have the best of both worlds. I think the options are really endless with what this pedal would sound great alongside. And I think that's a really important part of pedals is sometimes when you're demoing something in isolation and you're listening to guitar in isolation, that's not the same context as how is it gonna sound and pair alongside other pedals on your board and how is that going to play into the mix when you're playing with other people? And I think this pedal really shines in the mid-range and being able to shape your sound while maintaining the sound of the amp you're plugged into. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to support me, you can become a Shredder level member of this channel. Make sure you're subscribed, share this channel with others. There's affiliate links down in the description below as well as a merch store. And until next time, I've been Colin. Oh,